We're here outside St. James's Park where the hosts of the high flying Magpies who currently sit fourth in the table. The Aston Villa who came off an impressive 4-0 victory against Brentford last week after they sacked Steven Gerrard. They now employ Unai Emery who turned Newcastle United down last season. We speak to fans before and after the game to get their thoughts. Don't forget to follow and like the channel not only for Newcastle United content but all North East content. Two for Bruno and one for Joe Lennon. 2-1, Almiron and Bruno. Yeah, Almiron's in great form. You think he's going to get another one, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic, right. One of the things before kickoff, Dan Eagles has done a round of press where he's, he says he's going to look at all commercial revenues. One of the things is, is he might be looking at renaming St James's Park. As a fan, would you be happy with that if it fetches more money in or not? Well, I would be now because of the, um, you can guarantee that any revenue brought in would go towards the, um, the team. Obviously, there's a legacy of the bad taste of what was done in the past, whereas this is... Um, yeah, this is a good thing. Yeah, we're playing Aston Villa. They're on the back of a big result last week. Well done without a manager. Where do you think they're going to end up at the end of the season? And what do you think of their new manager, Emery? Well, um, I had a look at his record at Ast uh, with Arsenal last night, just how it was, not it? I was better than what I thought. He's won things, um, best of luck to them, but I don't care at all about Newcastle for me today. Yeah. yeah, and what about you? Where do you, where do you think they're going to finish, Aston Villa, at the end of the season? Um, 20th. You think they're going to get relegated? Yeah? Yeah. Bottom of the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> do you, where do you think they're going to finish? Maybe it's about ninth or 10th. Fair ninth play, yeah. Do you think he's going to get them turned around and play? I do, yeah. yeah. They're a big okay. group, yeah. Perfect. Um, I'll just double check what the rest of it is. Um, yeah. Next transfer window, who would you like to see when number one target? James Madison. Madison. Yeah, just um, he's brilliant. All round play, scores goals, creates chances. He's um, extremely, yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah. yeah brilliant. Who, who drops out of the team for him to get in? Joe Willock, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. Joe Willock, um, hope he comes good. He's a young lad, he's got plenty of time, whereas James Madison's doing it now. Yeah, fantastic. And who would you like to see be fetched in? Um, James, Mad James Madison. Madison, yeah, you like him, you're a fan? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And do you want to tell everyone, you're obviously doing a fundraiser, if you want to just mention that? Yeah, so all it is, on Friday the, um, the 11th of November, 5pm until 5pm on Saturday, before kick-off of the Chelsea game, we're doing a 24-hour walk around the stadium to raise um, money for Changing Lives Homeless Charity and for the Newcastle Food Bank. Much needed um, um, push of money uh, for families before Christmas. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and, uh, why, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Because it makes me sad when families don't have food, so look out for Bruno's Magic Hat. Yeah, Bruno's Magic Hat, yeah. You're big, are you a big Bruno fan? Yeah. Yeah, and where can people go if they want to donate? So we're going to be walking around, we're going to be joining with, um, with the food bank and um, with, um, with a bucket, so um, that's why I say look out for the hat, because he'll have his hat on. So yeah, we'll be walking around with the fans like we are today, um, just with buckets. A Bruno! Bruno! With us, no, no, it's Ali. What we need? Are you, ex oh, yeah. Are you expecting Bruno to score today? I'll meet you What's his goal? Like. 2 0 the tune. Come on! We need to make a statement today. I'll go for 4 0. 4 0, yeah. Got to go on third of the day. 3 0 win. Yeah. Who are you expecting goal scorers? Wilson, Hatrick, yeah. and Shelby. And Shelby. Yeah. Willock. Willock. Yeah. Yeah. Willock. Yeah. 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 Willock. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Almiron's been in the form of his life. You expect him to get another one and carry that on? He would like to think so, like he's gone for the record, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> when St Maximum comes back, is he the one that gets dropped? Does St Maximum have to sit on the bench? What's your thoughts? I think Maxi waits his turn. Got to keep a winning team. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put him in, he's on the bench for you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think the same here, yeah. yeah. Speaking of the opposition fans today, they're obviously with under a new manager. What's your thoughts on the new manager? Where you expect Axton Villa to finish at the end of the season? Bottom. Bottom? Because I don't like uh, why Uno Emery um, <laughs> <laughs> turned me down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's still bitter about that last year. I yeah, am, I am. Even though Eddie Howe's come in and. Oh, we've got the right choice in the end, haven't we? Yeah. But what, what do you think of the new manager as well for them and where do you think they're going to finish? I um, think we made the right choice. Eddie Howe over him. But our fans are poor. So just let them have him. Yeah. Where, where are you expecting to finish? What, them? Yeah. Bottom. Bottom, both ears, yeah? No, taking all the bitterness outside, you think that's, that's a worse squad? That's a worse squad. They've got Ings, they've got Walker. Ah, nah, yeah. nah. Who's him? Wilson, man. Wilson's a man. Right, and uh, Dan Eagles, the Newcastle CEO, he's just given an interview where he says he's going to explore all commercial avenues. That might include changing the name of the stadium. As fans, would you be happy with that or not, if it's going to fetch more money in? Oh, potentially it's a tricky one, isn't it? As long as they're not sports direct, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. yeah, and shirt sponsorships, were you happy with anything being put on the front? Obviously, they've had betting, we've had all sorts in the past. Yeah, same really, aye. Get the money in, get the players in. 
let's uh, kick on from you. Yeah. I think uh, Newcastle fans get stick for everything they can possibly get throughout the season. Well, that team's David, so why can't we do it? And one of the other things he's got to look at, surely, is increasing ticket prices. The better the players, the more expensive the players, the more expensive the tickets. Are you as happy as fans if that goes ahead? or Not, Not really, really, to be honest, no. no. Should be coming down, if anything, especially for the way fans. Already, so why do you have to put the prices up? I want to bring the kids and watch a game, so no need to put the prices up. Exactly, look at their faces, they're buzzing to be here. <laughs> can't price them out of it. Well, well, we've got the cost of living crisis. It's coming up to winter, ticket prices. Is that a factor for you guys, the average fan, or...? It's a fact now, yes, but they're still going to come no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> Your score prediction and goal scorers? 3-1, uh, Wilson, Botman and Tripp, yeah. A few people have said Botman, where, where's that coming from? Uh, he's, a, he's a big old fella and he's uh, probably going to, uh, he's, one of these days he's going to get one of these headers in goal. Yeah. Today's the day, yeah. <laughs> I'm with Chris, but I'm going 4-5-0, me, I think, well... I just don't see a threat from Villa at all. So they did just win the last match for. Yeah, but it was against Brentford, wasn't it? So um, I'm going. I think Callum will definitely get on the score sheet today. How many I don't know, but definitely Sven. Sven's gonna get a goal today, 100. Yeah. Uh, two nil, and I think uh, Miggy and Callum will score. Yeah, you think Almoron's Al gonna carry on his uh, scoring? Yeah. I think it'll be three one in Newcastle. Uh, Almoron, Wilson, and Botman. Uh, I think Villa will. I think. Ings will score a consolation goal. Yeah. And what do we think about the manager? He turned us down last season. <laughs> he's a muppet. Yeah. yeah, he's a muppet, exactly. Yeah. He's, uh, well, the, the, Eddie Howe's done what he needed to do. So uh, Could he have done any better than Eddie Howe, do you think? No. I don't think so. No. I, I think, no. I think uh, Eddie Howe got the group together and uh, it, it's just great to go and watch, watch a team that we enjoy watching, playing play some fantastic football. As a fan, I've got hope and which from the ambition of the club. Yeah, and just, just to touch on the opposition manager, what's your thoughts on it? Where do you think he's going to get Aston Villa at the end of this season? I think he'll, uh, he'll help them avoid relegation, which yeah. would be delightful in my eyes if they went down, but uh, <laughs> 17th will do for Villa. Yeah, and what about you? Where do you think they're going to finish? Who, uh, Villa? Villa. Uh, RT high middle table at the bottom. Is he there? He's, going to, he's going to dig them out, yeah? yeah I, think well, I think 13th. 13th will be a good chunk for them. Yeah. In, in the next window, who's your number one transfer signing? Target. Uh, I'd like Diaby, but like, Mig I, I would have said for Miggy, but Miggy's been on fire. So uh, I, I think just another, either another winger or a centre mid, just to beef everything up. But I'm looking now, I'm thinking, who are you going to replace? You know what I mean? It's yeah, we did turn us down. Now, whenever we do that, we watch the, we watch the comments. We yep. see a lot of people, as soon as someone turns us down, next transfer window, Nat, we don't want to know about them or whatever. Are you happy to overlook that? Did it work at TK? I don't know. I think, like, the thing is, it was a ropey project. Bruno got on board. That's why he's adored by the fans, because he came to wear no release clause, etc., etc. But, I, honestly, I... I just think it's whoever we're saying, you know it's going to be someone of quality anyway, so uh, I think you've just got to trust Eddie, yeah. Eddie's judgment. And who's your number one signing? Madison or Diaby. I, yeah. I, I think that's going to happen. I think Madison's confirmed and Trossard maybe as well because he's on good form for yeah. Brighton. Yeah. So, I would yeah. say Madison as well. Yeah. Yeah. Your thoughts on Trossard? He's, he's good enough for Newcastle yeah, at the minute, Jim? He scored a hat against Liverpool and got a goal against City, so I think, yeah, he's, if he can score against the quality sides, I think he can go yeah. first. And then uh, Darren Eagles, he did an interview recently where he says he's going to explore all commercial avenues that possibly includes looking at renaming St James's now and now Mike Ashley got a lot of negativity yeah. as long as it got more money in the coffers which it obviously would would you be a fan of that or not the club no that the, the owners know what the fans are about so they will do it in the right way and if it's best for the club and I think to be honest we'll always call St James's anyway so it's uh, I think they'll be it'll be tactical and it'll be tactful as opposed to what Mike Ashley did just Sports the will always call it St James's Park. It doesn't matter what. It's just Ashley ploughed on with his own company. I'll not do it the good grace of seeing what it is. But you know he just ploughed on regardless. Put nothing in for it. Put nothing in really for the advertising. You know that's one of the gripes that they've got in the legal. Um, you know issues that the club are having. But for, to my knowledge anyway. But I think the club will do what. To us, it's St James's Park. To him, to him, it's St James's Park. The, the club can call it what they want for me. It, it, irrelevant. Yeah, for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just good being a Newcastle fan now. So 
looking good for the future and come on the lads, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> right, and we're flat, oh, high flying at the minute, we're fourth in the league. Are you expecting to keep that up? Sixth, eighth, tenth, where are you expecting to finish? Hi, uh, I just honestly, it's just to have an ambition. It's just seeing a light at the end of what was a dark tunnel, I think. So uh, it doesn't, he could finish sixth, seventh, eighth. To me, it's still progress and then kick on again. So uh, if be, you had to put a number on it? I'd go on fifth. Fifth, okay, right. yeah. I think, I think this, this year is different because of the World Cup. And I think if we win our next three games and we're sitting in 30 points, or whatever it is, the LBO with 30 points, um, I think the f I think they might say, well, the, the project's come early, and I think we might push, talk about the signs before, that they might think, right, yeah, we can get it. There's, it's nothing to stop us getting in that top four. Um, um, just by what I've seen this season and the fact that you could have a lot of good tired players come back in the World Cup and we haven't got that many. Hopefully yeah. Bruno stays fit. Well, Chelsea, man, you a few are faltering. Where do you reckon we're going to finish? I think if we're signing some quality players in January, I think we're going to finish fourth. Like push for fourth, maybe in third, I'm not joking. And I think if, if we don't sign quality players, I think we're going to finish like fifth or sixth. Yeah. I would say like seven or six. And then a last rapid fire question. It's coming up to the World Cup. Nick Pope and Callum Wilson, are you expecting them to play at all? In a way, I would prefer Wilson not to because he'd probably come back injured. Uh, but for Wilson, from Wilson's point of view, he's a good number two to, to, to Kane. Is he, he number two? To Kane, yeah, he will yeah. be. He will be number two to Kane. Pope, uh, Pickford, Pope. Uh, I, th I think Pickford. Pickford's a blue-eyed boy for for um, Southgate anyway, so he'd be on the bench, Pope. And yeah, if he gets a game, he gets a game. Yeah. Pope will not get ahead in uh, the T-Rex. Um, and uh, Callum, probably a, like a substitute role at best. Yeah. Uh, I think Pope might play one game if like England are qualified for the knockouts, but Wilson won't. I don't think Wilson will get called. I think it'll be Tony and Kane or Abraham and Kane. So, you, you would. You think Wilson's fourth in the pecking order then? Maybe? Third. Third. Yeah. I think he's back. he's in front of Calvert Lewin and Holly Watkins. So yeah, that's my thought. Yeah. What about Abraham? You mentioned Abraham. Would you put Wilson ahead of Abraham? I watch on YouTube uh, highlights of uh, Europa League when they're playing like the um, thing on TV. So. I think he, he scores lots of goals. So I think he'll come in second for second choice for uh, England. I don't think Callum Wilson will play, but Nick Pope might play them like easy, easy games like a run. Yeah. Right, we're here off a dominant win there. So, who's your man of the match? Very hard to pick from. Uh, it has to be Mickey, really, I'm going to say. I mean, Linton putting quite the performance up and down. Great energy throughout the whole game. But Mickey at the end, that finish on the left foot. Screen finesse. Oh, it was I beautiful will. to watch. It. Absolutely I stunning will. stuff, really. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. Yeah. I'll agree. I'll yeah. Muron, just composer the whole game. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Depending on how the other results went, we could be third in the league right now. Ooh. How far can Newcastle go? Way as far as they can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sky's, sky's the, the limit. limit. Sky's the limit. I was thinking exactly the same. And look, we've got um, a really back how honestly, for, from a ta ta tactical mindset, what he's done with what he has right now, and what 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 we've even been given is nothing right now. Yeah. We've got the whole exactly, bank yeah. there, and, and sky's the it's limit. Great. Honestly, it's just fantastic with the yeah. city. Massive yeah. uplift, and I think we're going to go all the way up. Yeah. Emery will be in the opposite dugout now. He did refuse the job last year. What will he be thinking? He'll be thinking, have I let something go, really? That, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, look, the potential is, is fully, fully there. I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves, but I wasn't expecting us to do this good this Bill early on. wasn't built in the day. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and with, uh, with Southgate, he was watching today. Do you think today's performance will have any reflection on Pope or Wilson getting picked? 100%. Look, they're both solid, mm. solid players, honestly. I think mm. especially Pope as well. I, he's very, very solid at the back. You need someone who can command your defence as well. He's not scared to jump out and grab that ball. Um, and, and Wilson as well, I think he, week in, week out, he's showing that he can put them away. Sometimes you need someone at that holder play, just behind Kane or in behind, or someone to come off the bench, you know. I mean, can't put it all on Kane, you know. Like, he needs those runners around him and, and the layoff players, really. So Great adaptive play as well, so I think they can adapt to any situation. So, Definitely. yeah, great. Fantastic. Yeah. Who's the number one target for you guys in the next window? Ooh... Uh, Next window, who do we want, bro? We, uh, look, uh, it's hard to drop anyone left, at the minute with everyone's left. I, I, want, I mean, we've got, we've got Mickey around, but I think with Willock, I mean, uh, he, uh, he starts to come into the game a little bit towards the end, but I felt sometimes his intensity and energy wasn't quite at yeah. that level. Um, 
I mean, I would love to say Mbappe, I'm not going to lie, but that is, <laughs> that, that's uh, utopian thinking, isn't it? Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, someone someone attacking Atta, yeah, exactly. and a string player, like, um, I don't really know who's around available now, but an Ericsson type player, you know, a, a slightly younger, fitter Shelby, just to get the ball, lay it off. Swing the Ward Prousey kind around. of player. Yeah, yeah, that'll be nice. So we'll yeah, see. We'll someone see. attacking, creative. We've got creativity in the team, but we need someone with Bruno, Joe Linton, and get them running. Yeah, get so, them yeah. running. That's it. The, the left back slot. We've got Dan Burns. He yeah. seems to have slotted in, even though it's not his position. All right, targets frozen out. Do we need a new left back? What's the situation with target? Would you play him? Has Dan Burns done all he can to keep the position? I think Burns has secured his place. He's yeah. played for. He's a solid, and he just keeps the defence solid as well. So, yeah. It was solid. He's solid at the back. But look, with the money that's coming in, we can always look for more options. Seeing with City winning the league over and over again, it's not necessarily a starting eleven. It's the depth of the squad yeah. that'll really get you through the longevity of it. Like with a top-down reform in the next ten years, the sky's the limit. But we need the depth in the squad as well. So I, I, I welcome more and more players. Definitely. Right. The, the last few games, we shut out uh, Everton. They didn't have a shot on target. Harry Kane, Son did nothing for Tottenham. Another clean sheet here. Is this one of the best defences Newcastle have ever had? We're solid. We're Top really, really solid. That's it. It's, I feel secure in the back. You know, when people are breaking, you can see the numbers back there. You feel solid, secure still. Pope in behind them as well. Like, this is this is really, really solid. It's they're together, they're like one. Yeah. They're speaking, they're communicating, which is, I'm not seeing anything like it. Even when I watched the Man U game as well, even though it was a bit of a, they were just still... Man, you just couldn't get past couldn't us. Get past, so, yeah. It's how credit to how, honestly, and, and the time that's been putting in the training ground. Get the lads a new training pitch as well. Uh-huh. Get them are you, get them happy and, and let's that's get playing, it. that's it. Who's your man of the match? Um uh Amaron. Amaron, yeah. Yeah, uh, because it was a uh, it was a good game, you know. It was uh, it, I love uh, I, I was here for the evening game, you know, and um I wish you uh, I wish I had Maximum was playing from the start. You know, because uh, always, always when uh, he comes on, you know, he, he dominates. He, you know, when Saint Maximin is fit and he's back, does Almiron drop? You can't really drop him. Who does he fit in for, or does he stay on the bench? Um, no, he, he just um, he just comes on when he wants to. You know, um, uh, we we'll always play good. You know, so uh, I wish all the uh, I wish all the best for the um, for the four games that we've got left. Yep. So. Uh, I know that I'm not going to come for the um, for the next two games because we uh, they're all sold out. Yeah. So I wish you I wish you um, all the best for yeah. until the World Cup. And who's the number one signing in the next window? Um, well, if you can get Ronaldo. <laughs> you go for Ronaldo, would you? Yeah. 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 You start him ahead of Wilson. Yeah. Well, no, we'll keep um, Wilson, but we'll yeah. say if we had Ronaldo, it'll be uh, it'll be a good partnership, you know. Okay. So Saint Maximin. Next week, does he start for you? No. No? Bench? Bench, I. Right? End of the day, he offers a lot, but. There's better players he doesn't, out there. He doesn't produce like the team saying, does he? There's better players. Yeah. What, what about Isaac? Well, he's injured, isn't he? When he comes back, does he start? Does he get into your starting 11? No. Nah. No? No. Nah. How then? Miggy's playing out with skin. Miggy's, yeah. I love Miggy. Miggy's. Oh, are, you, are you a recent Miggy turnover fan, or is it a case I've of you've always loved him? I just love had, him. I've had the season for years, and I've always loved Miggy. He tries his best all the he, time. He runs he's his heart amazing. Yeah. Runs, runs, and you kind of. He's always he's smiling. Oh, he's a grafter. He's all the time. He's a <laughs> grafter. <I don't> <laughs> yes. Who, who's, who's the best player currently for Newcastle? Miggy. Miggy, yeah. I would say Miggy at the minute, but maybe it's Nick Pope as well, because Nick Pope. <laughs> Joe Linton's doing well now. Joe, right. Well, is he going to the World Cup as number one or will Southgate go with his favourite? Well, mate, well, Southgate's here for a reason. Yeah. But Nick Pope, you think? More Wilson, I think. More Wilson, yeah. When Wilson scored, I seen the, the picture, I got up and he was smiling. So. Yeah, there's a picture of him smiling. Yeah. yeah. So is, is he number two to Harry Kane? Number three, number four? Where would you put him? Number one. Ahead of, ahead of Harry Kane. Harry Kane, <laughs> he didn't even know who against us last week, did he? He was useless man. And son. Hopeless. Yeah. Useless. He didn't score today. Wilson got two. There you go. Happy days, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that way. Yeah. Right, so we're here after that dominant win with... With uh, Bjarne. Yeah. Erasmus. Yeah, so you've got different accents. Where are you from today? We're uh, from Denmark. Yeah, we're from Denmark. Yeah. yeah, and how often do you get to come to Newcastle? Oh... Not that often. <laughs> That's my second time. Second time, yeah? That's based on our wife as well. Yeah, so. what, what, what's the connection? How did you become Newcastle fans? Oh, that's a long story. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, that's th- almost 30 years ago. 30 years, yeah? Yeah, I was, I was saying 93 I started. Uh, uh, the same yeah. with me. Yeah. 
93, yeah. 94. And is this the best Newcastle side you've seen in them 30 years? Or? Mm, yeah, almost, almost, yeah? almost. Yeah, almost. I, I mean, it's the best one life, yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah. 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 I've been in an away match many years ago. That's almost like this one. Is, is there a big fan base in Denmark? No, not that. No, no. <laughs> they all are Liverpool and Manchester United supporters. And I, I would say big, big is like you can define that like like you want. No. So yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. And then there's a lot to choose from. But who is the man of the match today? Oh, who is it? who is it? Huh? Nah, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> just one. Just one. Uh, Wilson made two goals, but I think Miggy did it very well. Yeah, hell of a goal. Uh, oh, yeah, oh my exactly. god, man. That yeah. left leg. <laughs> you go Miggy or you someone else? Yeah, I think we go with Miggy. Yeah. Miggy, Miggy, yeah. Miggy yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the opposition manager today. He turned down Newcastle last season. What will he be thinking looking after that? He was pulling out his hair and thinking, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where do you think Newcastle are going to finish at the end of this season? Top five. Top five? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, top yeah, five. I, I after, hope. After this one, I, hope, I, I, I think hope. so too, yeah. 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 Who, who, who are we going to get ahead of then, out of the normal top five? Who's going to... Who oh, Manchester United and Liverpool, I think it is. Maybe Tottenham, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I, I think that's yeah. good. Now, Manchester United and Liverpool, I, I would be happy with that, yeah. being yeah. Up, above them. Yeah. In, in the summer, who would you like to see? Number one target. A uh, right, right wing. Right wing, yeah. yeah right. To replace Almiron, your man of the match? No, we no, need, we need no, some... we, we not some, someone to back him up. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's my answer. What name? Is there anyone that comes to mind? No, no, no. 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 At, my, at my mind, it would be Madison. Yeah. yeah. What, what about the left-back position? We've seen Dan Burns fill in for that. He's not necessarily natural. He's doing really well. The clean sheets that he's keeping, you can't argue I, with. I think he's doing well, and Target is... As when he's playing, he's been perfect there. So, yeah. so uh, we, I yes. think we're probably... Back him backed up, up on, on that position. Yeah. And I mean, looking from an outsider's perspective, then in terms of England, Southgate was at the match today. What do you think for Wilson and Pope's chances? He should be in there, no, no, no doubt about that. Yep. As as long as he can keep without injuries, then yeah. I mean, uh, th yeah, the same, the same. What, what do you think of England's chances coming up the World Cup and Denmark as well? Oh, uh, think, a little under Denmark, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some 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 business. <laughs> to do against England, um, yeah. I don't know. Fantastic. And then St. Maximin, when he gets back to full fitness, if he comes, does he come back into the team for you, oh, or sure. who sure. does he come in for? He, he's coming back to the team. That's for sure. He. Uh, we, 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 back in the in, at the middle. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say um, St. Maximin at his top, uh, like like against City, he, he he was playing his best game. I I think so, but yeah. yeah. And Isaac, where does he come in? After Wilson's just scored two. Yeah, oh my God, it's man. difficult now. Yeah. 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 Would you start him ahead of Wilson or? No, no, not not with no. Wilson in no. this form. No. Yeah, would you start him on the wing or, or impact sub? He he's gonna have to be a sub, and yeah, he has to earn his spot. But we all know uh, with the injuries Wilson got, he will get some time on the pitch. Yeah. 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 True, true. I, I probably was Joe Linton. He's worked all over, whole game, up and down. Yeah. Everywhere, he was, he was quality yet again. See, the whole, the whole team, today. whole it, team's faultless. Uh, yeah. Whole exactly. team's faultless. Yeah. And you know what it is? Jamie Carragher. It's not the Tottenham is right. <laughs> it's Newcastle are better, so <laughs> fuck you, Jamie Carragher. <laughs> <laughs> Emery, he turned the job down last season. He's in the opposition dugout today. What will he be thinking looking at that? Oh, he'd be regretting his decision 100%. He'd be looking at what we've got here and what we can't achieve. You think he's made the wrong decision, but think, um, that's up to him. That's that's what his choice. We've got Eddie now. He's ain't he's underrated manager. Talk sport, given the shit when we're signing him. He is. A, any he manager, is the dog's bollocks. That's all I'm saying. He a, is the a, Any manager bollocks. walking into that sort of position, though, it's it's going to be hard. Yeah. He's going to have his challenges. I just think he's going to have to think of each game as it comes. But with the players that he has. I don't know if he'll be able to... Uh, Where, where's he going to finish with them at the end of the season, Villa? Villa. Where, where's he going to take them? 15th. 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 Keep them up, yeah? Oh, 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 right. No, I reckon 12th. Villa will still. Yeah, they've, yeah. Got, they've got good players. I have. They've got good players. You can't deny that. Like yeah. A few positions are not as great, but like they've still got quality players. Like Buendia, Watkins, Ings, they're all good players. Like, I'd take them, yeah, like 100%. But... Just as a team, you don't like Ash Young starting 35. Doesn't compare to Newcastle. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, like you've got big Dan Pitt at the back. You're not seeing Ash Young anywhere. Agbonlo, who's he? 
Exactly, yes. I I don't know. Where are you? Where are you, lads? Where are you, lads? <laughs> that Dan Burns, he's slotted in left back. He did look a little bit questionable the first couple of games. Yeah, yeah, Seems yeah. like he's settled in now. You can't really argue with this defence. Yeah. Oh, do we look for a left back? Is uh, he, no, no, he going to no, be like long term left back? He came he, he's, expo he's exposing some games like Man United, Anthony. He got caught at Tony. He should, he should yeah. have been sent off, in my opinion, Burn. He got him here to caught uh, fouls. Um, we need a better left back, yeah. but Boone's good. It like, doesn't matter when you've got the best looking centre half in the league. <laughs> Which one's that? Botman. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two. We've got two of them. Two of them. Yeah. Two of the best looking centre backs in the league. Now, d depending on how results go today, we could be third in the league. How far can Newcastle go? I reckon I'd say no. We're in the league. We are. You're on camera, yeah? We're no, with Bruno in the middle. Top We're in the league. Top no. Six. Top, top six. With the top current squad, we'll probably get. Top four, I would say. I think top four with the I'd current say, team. Yeah. If we buy you well in January, top. Who, who's your number one Madison. target? Madison. Madison. Yeah. Madison. Who drops out of the starting uh, eleven to fit him in? Willick. Well, Madison. Willick. Yeah. For me, for me uh, Alvarez from Ajax. I say CDM. Very good. Push very good. He, before Liverpool start playing well against them, very good. He looked class. So I'd like him push Bruno further up. So that's that, that's my no, that, that's my opinion. I, I like Almiron and uh, then Max on left, Wilson in the middle. I like that, and then Isaac can come in. So where, where does Isaac fit then? Probably see right. out. You probably see out Almiron as well yeah. as he's played, but like he's just not as good as Isaac in my opinion. Or like yeah. have Isaac and Almiron as an option. Yeah. Depends what game. Yeah. If you need the press, then Almiron. If you don't need the press, Isaac. Yeah. Southgate was yeah. He was watching with the new owners, the Newcastle owners. Who's he? <laughs> uh, what, what did, what did, he shouldn't be manager. Get Tom, him out. Tom, get him out the job. Tom, Tom is too chill for England job. <laughs> <laughs> in, t in terms of Nick Pope and in terms of Wilson, Nick Pope unbelievable. Should be so, hey, Nick Pope's not starting for us. Pick, Nick, pick, pick, pick Pickford Pickford starts. Pickford starts. Pickford's a start keeper. And Wilson could be that. a contender. Wilson, Tony, and Kane should be the strike. Yeah. That's who, who's, who, what's the pecking order? It's obviously Kane, number oh, one. Kane and Tony and Wilson. Kane, Tony well, and Wilson. Uh, well, it's tough, really. That. Yeah, 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 put, well, yeah, that's a tough Kane, that's hard Kane Wilson, then Ivan Tony, I think. It's hard, really. I, yeah. I like Tony as a player. He's good. Yeah. He's very good. He's a little flicks and that. He's a good player. He he it's, hard, it, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to see. I'd probably see yeah. they both the same, Wilson, Tony. Yeah, not much between them. Nah, yeah. not at all, not at all. Kids obviously like, levels above, but like, the other two. Right, lovely. Thank you very much, lads. Yeah. Yeah. Get the passports yeah. out. We're going to Europe. We're going to win the league. Get We're the passports out. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league.